one year after the WHO declared COVID-19 outbreak a pandemic, it's been 122 million cases, more than 2.7 million deaths, and our heavenly planet being subjected to absolute quarantine, all this, has really been exhausting. With the virus still lurking around the corner, the world waits for vaccines to defeat the pandemic. To which, obviously there are many questions, most importantly, who should, and who should not get the vaccine. So who all should get the vaccine? Any individual above 18 years of age should opt for the vaccine. Amongst people aged between 45 and 59 years, with the following 20 comorbidities will also get the vaccine. Heart failure with hospital admission in the past one year. Post-cardiac transplant or a left ventricular assist device. Significant left ventricular systolic dysfunction with LVEF less than 40%. Moderate or severe valvular heart disease. Congenital heart disease with severe pulmonary arterial hypertension or idiopathic PAH. CAD with past bypass or angioplasty or MI, and hypertension or diabetes on treatment angina and hypertension or diabetes treatment ct or mri documented stroke and hypertension or diabetes on treatment pulmonary arterial hypertension or diabetes on treatment diabetes more than 10 years or with complication and hypertension on treatment liver or kidney or hematopoietic stem cell transplant recipient or on wait list End-stage kidney disease on hemodialysis or CAPD. Current prolonged use of oral corticosteroids or immunosuppressant medications. Decompensated cirrhosis. Severe respiratory disease with hospitalizations in last two years or FEV1 less than 50%. Lymphoma or leukemia or myeloma. Diagnosis of any solid cancer on or after July 1, 2020, or currently on any cancer therapy. Sickle cell disease, bone marrow failure, aplastic anemia or thalassemia major. Primary immunodeficiency diseases or HIV infection. Persons with intellectual disabilities, muscular dystrophy or acid attack with the involvement of respiratory system persons having high support needs or multiple disabilities including deaf and blindness. The vaccines are safe and effective, and everyone should take them. What about the situations wherein vaccines should be avoided? Covishield contains L-histidine and L-histidine hydrochloride monohydrate. If you're allergic to it, then avoid. Also if you have a severe allergic reaction after a previous dose of this vaccine, do not take it. Do not take Covax and jab if you have a bleeding disorder, or if you have a history of allergies, or a fever. For now, you can't get vaccinated if you are under 18 years of age. For both the vaccines, consult with your healthcare provider if you are immunocompromised, or on a medication that affects your immune system. Also, pregnant and breastfeeding women are not ideal candidates for the vaccine. And if you have taken first shot of a vaccine, you cannot jump to the other vaccine for your second shot. Together we fight against the COVID-19. Together we have a shared future. Ending one year anniversary, we have seen what we can accomplish together in times of need. So let's not forget the importance of unity and world peace.